today's video is on tumours. So first we're going to have a look at some keywords and the first is cancer. So cancer is a group of diseases which are caused by damage to genes and these are genes that regulate mitosis and the cell cycle. So genes that regulate cell division. And a tumour is a lump or growth in a part of the body that is caused by abnormal cells. And you can get two different types of tumours, and these are benign tumours and malignant tumours. So if we think about it, a change in the expression of a gene that regulates mitosis. So this is um, a cause of cancer, a um, damage to a gene that regulates this mitosis and cell cycle. So when there is a change in the expression of a gene that regulates cell division, this could cause rapid cell division. So if this change in the expression increases the rate of cell division, this can then lead to uncontrolled division, which then can lead to the development of a tumour, a mass of cells that form this growth. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the differences between benign and malignant tumours. So firstly, a brief overview so you can get the idea of what a benign and what a malignant tumour is. A benign tumour generally are growths in the body that are localised. So these are tumours that are in one specific part of the body and they stay there. A malignant tumour uh, are growths in the body that can metastasize, and this means to spread to other regions of the body to start secondary tumours. So this means that malignant tumours can um, start out in one part of the body, but then move to other parts of the body and start more tumours. So that is the main difference between benign and malignant tumours. So now we're going to compare their growth and size. So benign tumours uh, generally grow quite slowly. So these are the tumours that are localised. Malignant tumours grow more rapidly. So the cells divide quicker. This cell division, this mitosis is happening at a faster rate. And both malignant and benign tumours can grow to a large size. But malignant tumours, as they grow more rapidly, will reach this larger size quicker than a benign tumour that grows slower. So now we're going to compare the appearances of benign and malignant tumours. Benign tumour cells appear close in appearance to normal body cells. So if this is a normal body cell, a benign tumour cell will look very similar to this normal cell. Whereas malignant tumour cells have a much larger nucleus than normal body cells, and this appears darker, and this is due to the higher abundance of DNA. So if a mutation in a cell leads to this malignant tumour cell, if this mutation is addition of DNA, this nucleus will appear darker as there is more DNA. It will not look like normal body cells. It will be um, misshapen, it will have a darker nucleus and larger nucleus, so it won't be looking like these normal body cells like benign tumour cells will. So benign tumour cells um, are often well differentiated. So this is another way of saying that they're close in appearance to normal body cells. So they have similar shapes, sizes, colours. They generally appear as normal body cells. Whereas our malignant tumour cells are often undifferentiated. So they don't look similar to these normal body cells. They're different in shape, size or colour. So now we're going to compare the dangers of benign tumours and malignant tumours. So benign tumours produce adhesion molecules. So adhesion is the attraction between unlike substances. So as benign tumour cells produce these adhesion molecules, this allows these molecules to stick together. So the tumour cells are able to clump and remain in one tissue. 
So this is a primary tumour. So because of these adhesion cells sticking all of the cells and molecules together allows this benign tumour to only have this primary tumour. It is only remaining in this one tissue because none of the cells can separate to move elsewhere. They're remaining in this one space. They're stuck together. Whereas malignant tumour cells don't produce these adhesion molecules. So there are no adhesion molecules to stick all of the cells together so they can spread to other body regions. They can metastasize. So as there's no adhesion molecules, some cells can um, break apart from the primary tumour. They can metastasize, they can spread to other regions of the body to start secondary tumours. And benign tumours are surrounded by capsules of dense tissue. So you can see here, this benign tumour is surrounded by this dense tissue capsule. And it's this that helps the benign tumour stay really compact in this one tissue. So the adhesion molecules allow these cells to remain stuck together, but it's this dense capsule that keeps it compact. So it, um, it's the adhesion molecules and the dense capsule that keeps this benign tumour localised in one space so it doesn't um, spread to other parts of the body. Whereas malignant tumours aren't surrounded by this dense tissue. So as these malig uh, malignant tumours don't have this capsule around them, they can grow finger-like projections into nearby tissue. So this helps them to metastasize, to spread to other body regions. They don't have these adhesion molecules that stick the cells together, and they don't have this dense tissue capsule to keep the tumour compact. So they can metastasize and move into other tissues. Um, more on danger. So benign tumours are less life-threatening, but they can stop vital organs functioning. So even though these tumours are localised, they stay in one tissue, if this tissue that they stay in is a vital organ, this can be very detrimental detrimental to the functioning of this organ. So even though it only stays in one place, this can still be very dangerous. However, malignant tumours are more life-threatening as the abnormal tissues of these tumours replace normal tissues. So because these malignant tumours grow very rapidly and the cells divide very quickly, there is this rapid growth and takeover. So these tumour tissues can replace the normal tissues in multiple parts of the body because it can metastasize. So benign tumours tend to have more localised effects. So they damage one area of the body. So that even this, if this is a vital organ or just a normal piece of skin tissue, it is all lo it's usually localised on this one area. Whereas malignant tumours tend to have systematic effects. So this is damage to the body as a whole. So this could be weight loss, for example, because these malignant tumour cells can spread to different parts of the body. It has this entire effect on the, on the whole body, um, whereas benign tumours are more localised. So what are the differences in treatment? So benign tumours are usually removed by surgery alone. And this is because these benign tumours are compact and localised. You can remove all of the tumour cells in one surgery. Whereas malignant tumours usually need to be followed up by radiotherapy and or chemotherapy. And this is because um, even though you can remove one uh, primary tumour uh, in a surgery, you don't know whether these, um, this malignant tumour has metastasized to other parts of the body. So you don't know whether you have got all of the rapidly dividing cells that um, have this mutation. 
So radiotherapy and chemotherapy are ways of killing rapidly dividing cells. So this is ways of either using drugs or radiation to kill these tumour cells because as they are dividing rapidly, these malignant tumour cells, they divide really quickly. And these, um, either drugs or radiation, target these rapidly dividing cells and kill them. So this is why with chemotherapy or radiotherapy, some um, people will lose their hair. And this is because the cells that produce this hair are also rapidly uh, dividing. So they can also target healthy human cells as well. So benign tumours rarely occur after treatment. So after these benign tumours have been removed by surgery, because they were so compact and localised, it's very, it's more unlikely that any cells, uh, any benign tumour cells would have been left in the tissues to restart this tumour. So they rarely reoccur after treatment because they are so compact, because they are so localised. Whereas malignant tumours more frequently reoccur after treatment, as some of the tumour cells can be missed. So this is because these malignant tumours metastasize, so they can go off into other parts of the body. So you never know whether you've taken out all of these malignant tumour cells, or whether there are some other ones that have metastasized, which can restart secondary tumours, because they are not as compact or localised as benign. So now a quick summary of all of the differences of benign and malignant tumours. So benign tumours grow slowly, whereas malignant tumours grow rapidly. Both benign tumours and malignant tumours can grow to a large size, but just at different rates. Benign tumours look like normal body cells, whereas malignant tumours don't look like normal body cells. They either have a larger, darker nucleus, a more abnormal shape, a different colour, and so on. And benign tumours produce adhesion molecules, and this allows the cells to stick together to remain localised so they don't spread off. Malignant tumours don't produce these adhesion molecules, so they, can't, they don't stick together these cells, so they can metastasize to other parts of the body, they can spread. Benign tumours are surrounded by a capsule of dense tissue, so this um, allows the benign tumour to be compact and stay localised. Whereas malignant tumours don't have this capsule of dense uh, tissue around them, so these malignant tumours can form finger-like projections into nearby tissues because this dense tissue, uh, this capsule, isn't surrounding them, keeping them compacted. Benign tumours tend to have localised effects because they are in one tissue of the body. They damage this one tissue but don't usually affect other parts of the body. Whereas malignant tumours usually have systematic effects. So because these malignant tumours can metastasize and spread to other parts of the body, they can have whole body effects and damage the body as a whole. Uh, benign tumours can usually be removed by surgery alone. And this is because due to these adhesion molecules and due to these, this capsule of dense tissue, um, the um, cells can usually be taken out in one go, whereas malignant tumours usually need to be followed up by chemotherapy or radiotherapy. And this is because when they're taken out, you don't know whether all of the tumour cells have been taken because it's not as densely compacted and localised as a benign tumour. And benign tumours rarely reoccur after treatment because they are so compact and localised that you usually have taken out all of the tumour cells in a surgery, whereas malignant tumours more frequently reoccur after treatment because the cells may have metastasized to form secondary tumours in different parts of the body.